So a very quick overview of just what some of the main capabilities of that sort of platform are. Um, one is it's a place where there is, think of it like, like discussion threads like you might have on social media, but they're highly structured. Uh, you can tag people, reply to people, notify people, ask questions, ask follow-ups, have dialogue across a whole variety of different uh, uh, topics, all very, very structured around a, a set of work. Um, those can be qualitative, quantitative, uh, ranking, voting, choose all that apply. What do you think about this? Should we go left? Should we go right? All of those things are very easy to do in that sort of uh, environment. Um, they're also, uh, these, these tools have a lot of functionality around documents. So think of it like, I think I'm sure everyone's familiar with like Office 365 or something like that, where people can kind of kind of sort of see a spreadsheet at the same time or, or, or maybe make some comments on a Word document. Um, these tools have those sorts of functionality kind of to the next level where you can have very deep, very contextual discussions within documents, about documents, uh, authoring documents, et cetera. But it really brings that sort of interaction to a very managed next level. Um, and then they offer a lot of other features as well that really make life easier um, from you know, language translation, automatically translating hundreds of languages between each other, uh, doing medical dictation, voice to text, um, AI analysis on the outputs and things like that, um, that allow you to kind of more quickly understand what's gone on, what the output of the interaction was. So that's a quick, very quick view of like what some of the technologies involved with these overtime platforms are. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, what you see is depending on what you're doing, they, especially for the larger groups, um, it overcomes a lot of the issues that you might have trying to do a video cast.